Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. Uh, now, first of all, I want to apologize about the fact that I wasn't able to get this, this video out right away. Uh, I essentially had quite a few things going on um, here at home, while at the same time, um, I, I kind of needed a day off as well. At the very least, I'm making the video now today. I know quite a lot of you are curious as to my thoughts about Demix, uh, whether or not he's good enough or worth pulling for. Um, I know quite a bit of you have been watching my like my advice for the pull videos quite a bit recently too, which is kind of nice. Uh, but at the very least, let's go ahead and talk about the new Demix medal that's currently for the Organization 13 event within the game. So as you guys can see right here, Demix is in the shop. Uh, just like usual for all the Organization 13 banners, he is falling price and he's just the six star version like usual for the organization 13 members i know a lot of people were kind of hoping that he's going to be seven star now that you know we're starting to see like you know tier eight seven star medals and such such as like the four tele medals are literally like right above him <laughs> um, but to be honest i am not expecting any of the organization 13 medals uh even for the next seven months to ever uh, be seven star to ever come out as seven star for their banners strictly because of the fact that they are that they are falling price okay and they're five mercy pull they're five po five mercy pull falling price and you have the potential to get five thousand jewels back uh if by completing the entire event itself uh, which is almost in a way you're practically guaranteeing yourself for an organization 13 medal for roughly about 6,600 jewels or so, okay? Assuming you can get all 5,000 of the jewels, of course. If you can't beat it, obviously, it, it costs you a little bit more. But the thing is, because of like how lenient the event on top of the banner is itself, I'm not expecting the Organization 13 banners to or medals to ever come as their seven star variants. But aside from that, let's go ahead and talk about what exactly does Demic does like usual, and then we'll go on to uh, what do I think about the metal, whether or not it's worth pulling for. All right, so here's Demix. And Demix is a tier eight magic reverse metal. Uh, for five turns, this is this is a first as far as I'm aware. I believe he's the first metal's last five turns. Uh, he raises your general defense and PSM defense by seven tiers, and he lowers the target's strength, general strength by four tiers. He restores six gauges, he doesn't affect enemy counters, and he does more damage the more turns have passed. He's single target, costs six gauges, and has a six star multiplier of a 15 to a 24.13. First off, right away, uh, there's a couple things about his ability that I find fairly interesting that I want to point out real quick. Uh, one of them being about the fact that, like I mentioned beforehand, he's the first metal, I believe, whose ability lasts for five turns, which is a little bit like kind of a red flag for me, but also not at the same time because I always kind of expect it to happen. Um, but what I think what might end up happening is because of the fact he's the first metal to have five turns, I think we might be coming to a point sooner or later uh, within these next few months or so, maybe even next month or two months from now for all I know, where we could potentially start seeing up to five Keyblades within PvP. Now, I know a lot of people aren't exactly excited about that type of thought, uh, about having five, even more, just more than three Keyblades within PvP. Um, although I am one of those people who actually thinks it would actually make the mode a lot better uh, and a lot more I was trying to say balanced and fair if we actually had more Keyblades. Um, and that's strictly because of the fact that the more Keyblades that we have, that also means the more metals that you actually need to make each Keyblade competent. As it is right now, most players have already been playing PvP for the past few months that it's been out. So we're pretty much gotten a good grasp of what type of metals to add to our repertoire of uh, metals to use for PvP and stuff. We're basically preparing for PvP along with the rest of the game. Uh, kind of similar how to like you would prepare for metals uh, for Coliseum PvE as well 
as the rest of the game before PvP came out. Um, it's kind of like the same train of thought. So a lot of players are basically already like keeping PvP in mind when they get new medals. And because of that, a lot of people's Keyblades tend to be pretty decent now, uh, more or less. Even if you don't have all three of your Keyblades uh, beefed out in terms of like each three can, all three of your Keyblades can be damage setups, you pretty much at least have decent strategies and setups set up by now at this point, hopefully. And it's because of the fact that we're kind of in that state now, we're, start, we're more or less in that state, that I think it might end up becoming a good time uh, that we might start receiving more Keyblades to be using at the same time within PvP. It's already been shown beforehand, but there is still clearly right here on the PvP screen like four slots available where we could potentially have up to seven Keyblades period uh at any given point for pvp like th there's clearly room for it and at least in my opinion i believe five might actually be the magic number uh for pvp to make it feel a lot more balanced and that's because of the fact sure there's gonna be people who have really good like maybe two really good keyblades if you have five keyblades uh, but it also means you're gonna have like five like three other keyblades who are gonna be kind of Ah, and you'll, it, it'll be a nice way to have a lot of those older metals who aren't nearly as good, com obviously compared to everything else, um, actually be able to see some use. Like very easily, if we had like five Keyblades within PvP, it would be like, yeah, we have, you know, one or two Keyblades who are using those tier seven, tier eight medals. And I'm, and I'm thinking like, you know, top tier in my head. Obviously, as you go down the ladder, the strength of everyone's medals is going to go down, of course, to, you know, correlate with their tier. But at least in my mind, in a top tier, ideal type situations, basically, uh, you would maybe have like one or two Keyblade setups who are using uh, a bunch of like, you know, tier seven, tier eight medals and then the rest of your Keyblades because you don't have nearly as many good tier seven or tier eight medals to put on every single Keyblade, you'll be forced to start using some of the lower tier medals such as like tier six, tier five, maybe even tier four, uh, depending on the Keyblades that are chosen. So I think it'll be a nice way to help balance out the Keyblades uh, in PVP a little bit, but that's just my opinion. But at least going back to Demix, I know we kind of sidetracked a little bit right there. I do think that because of the fact his ability lasts for five turns, which I believe is the first medal in the game to do so uh, for more than three turns, or even four turns, I should say, it, it's very possible we might end up seeing more Keyblades within PvP. The next thing I want to talk about for his ability is the fact that, and I found this very strange, is the fact that he costs six gauges, but he also restores six gauges. I found this to be so backwards and just i don't know i just find it so strange that a metal would do that it's like i understand why they did it but it's just it just feels weird um in case you don't understand like what the purpose of like doing this is it's basically like a free cost uh it's also technically not because technically to even use the metal in the first place you have to already have six gauges available on your keyblade to actually be able to use the ability first uh, before you can actually recover the six gauges. Even if you're using a cost reduction skill, such as like a um, gauge one skill or something, you still have to have at least six gauges first on your Keyblade before you can actually activate the middle and only actually use one skill. Skills only actually go into effect after you've activated the, me the metal's ability in the first place. Uh, but aside from those aspects, the main things that I kind of want to point out real quick about Demix is the fact that he's actually uh, a very interesting metal because not only, obviously, he's the best turtle metal within the entire game as of right now. He literally completely maxes out all of your defense, period, in one cast, which is completely unheard of for turtle medals up to this point. Uh, the only thing that would be missing in terms of turtling for from this point onwards would literally be any sort of a, a overwrite effect or any sort of upright or reverse uh, defense buffs as well. Uh, those are pretty much the only things missing within the game right now. Those are pretty much the only things missing within the game right now in terms of turtling that they could potentially go to, like towards in order to make more turtle medals, which is possible within the future because because as we've shown before, Demix is a single target medal. I know some people were hung up about the fact he's single target. I'm here to tell you that honestly doesn't matter at all whatsoever. 
uh, because the only thing that's actually being affected by the fact he's single target is just him debuffing the opponent's strength by four tiers. In an AoE situation, this doesn't matter because you can just use Mrs. Incredible uh, right next to him anyways, uh, because not only does she fully debuff AoE debuff uh, opponent's strength by seven, and she's overwrite, uh, but she also does the PSM uh, strength debuff override as well, in case you happen to not be running a uh, Kyrie or Shion EX+. Plus. And speaking of Kyrie and Shion EX+, Plus, uh, that takes me on to my next topic is that, so even like right here on the screen, I have like on Fairy Stars, for example, I have Shion EX+, Plus with Demix+. Plus, okay, just these two medals alone. I don't even have the rest of my setup filled out uh, But just these two medals alone already completely buff out all my all my strength buffs and all of my current Available in the game uh, defense buffs general defense and PSM defense as well as the opponents defenses are completely debuff and most of their uh, strength debuffs are almost completely filled out with what's currently available as well as of right now the only thing that can debuff more than Kyrie Shion EX Plus is Ava EX Plus, with, that literally just came out recently. But it's honestly not a big deal because of the fact that just adding one extra PSM strength debuff isn't really going to change too much. Uh, the main thing you want to prioritize is the general strength debuff because that's what's actually going to make the most impact. And after saying that, of course, if you can get extra attack on Demix, that's like the ideal situation. You'll, you'll literally have max turtle right there with just one metal. Uh, it will be the first metal in the game that can actually reach all of the defense caps and all of the strength debuff caps as well, all by itself, which is honestly a good thing. Now, on the flip side, something I do want to point out as well is the fact that even though he is the best turtle metal in the game, normally for turtle metals, the only type of skills that you actually want to put on turtle metals are going to be almost exclusively just defense skills. However, Demix Plus is actually kind of an interesting metal, specifically because of the fact that he's actually not only the best turtle metal in the game, but he's actually the strongest magic reverse metal in the entire game as well. So just by doing a quick search real quick on the tracker website, uh, I currently don't have my spreadsheets up and running just yet to show it on those, but at least uh, I can use this to show you guys. But Demix Plus is literally the strongest magic reverse metal in the entire game. I know a lot of people like to point out, oh, it's only it's only like that in 7 star, as it's 7 star version, blah, blah, blah. It, it doesn't matter if it's 6 star or 7 star. Metal stats and the way they are compared to other metals are almost exactly the same most of the time, uh, both in their six star versions and their seven star versions. So both for six star and seven star versions, Demix Plus is the strongest magic reverse metal in the entire game. On the flip side of that, after stating that, that is honestly probably not that big of a deal uh, unless you're running very exclusive Keyblades. Now after stating that, because of the fact he's the strongest magic reverse metal in the entire game, that also means that if you want to, you can actually run Demix Plus as a damage metal as well instead of having a defense skill on him. Like I said before, normally you want to have defense skills on turtle metals. However, in Demix Plus case, uh, you can actually go either or. What I would recommend to you guys in terms of choosing what skills to put on, I would recommend thinking about real quick what type of situations do you think you'll actually end up using him the most. If you say you're probably going to use him for turtling the most, uh, then you might want to throw a defense skill on him. Uh, it also makes him a good viable option for PvP uh, because of the fact he takes up less space compared to uh, what most turtle setups within PvP are typically are right now, which is usually they need like two or three medals within the setup to go, you know, full turtle. Whereas Demix Plus can literally almost run just by himself. And then you can even have like a defense like skill on him, uh, like defense four max or something. And then the rest of your setup can be pure damage like any other normal setup, which is fantastic. So you could actually be running both a damage setup and a turtle setup all in one keyblade. Uh, which is actually pretty cool. And only Demix Plus can really actually kind of do that as of right now. Now, after explaining all that, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering, well, okay, I, I get this, Brian, but, you know, should I pull for this medal or not? And my answer, to be honest, is going to be one of those moments where I, I'm going to say it's kind of up to you guys, uh, simply because of the fact that Normally for myself, I always like to try and go for the latest, strongest turtle medal within the game, uh, just in case I do need to turtle at some point, okay? I like having that, uh, like, insurance of, like, just in case something happens that I can't, like, you know, 
brute strength my way through, I can at least try turtling, okay? That's how I like to do things. However, I know a lot of people aren't nearly interested in turtling and such to get through events and things. And at the same time, to be honest, we haven't really been having too many moments within the game these last few months or so in which you actually needed to do turtling. In that aspect, I can completely understand if a lot of you want to skip this medal. In my eyes, it's a perfectly valid reason to do so, uh, and I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to. Um, and of course, like if you do choose to get it, I, I, I don't think that's a bad option either. It's one of those medals at the moment that like, you know, you can go either or and it wouldn't be a bad thing. The only thing I want to say about that though, in case you choose not to get it, is that I do have a feeling that it's very possible uh that if you choose not to get it you may be missing out granted we are kind of seeing turtle medals appear every couple months or so that we've been seeing like the past like what five months or, or so so far but who's to say that trend is going to continue happening we have no idea uh, so if you choose not to get a medal just keep in mind that it's at your own discretion but anyways that's it for today guys uh, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are about the metal down in the comment section down below. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.